Hi everybody, how are you? Hey, sometimes we wonder what are God's ways for my life? And uh, we all know the words that His ways are not our ways, His thoughts are not our thoughts, right? Um, so Psalms 25 is just one of the scripture portions that helps us to know what God's ways are. And uh, it starts with a prayer, which we can directly apply in our lives and ask the Lord. And as we see in Psalms 25, verse 4, Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth. And teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. So to know God's ways you wait in his presence, ask him so that he will teach you his ways. And then as some few more verses down, if we read and um, in, in verse 8 and 9, it talks about who does he show his ways to? Those who fear the Lord and those who are humble. So if you're humble and if you fear God, God is willing to show you his ways for your life. So good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. And uh, in verse 12, who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way he should choose. We have so many ways in front of us, so many paths, so many directions, but which one to choose and which one is God's way that we should follow and keep moving. If we are humble and if we fear God, he will show us, instruct us in the way we should choose. And then verse 14, there is another blessing or benefit if you fear God. That is, the friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him and he makes known to them his covenant. See the beauty of this? If you want to know God's ways for your life, because so many times we are at crossroads not knowing which direction to choose, which way to go. And we, we all want to know God's ways because that's the best for our lives because he has best interest at heart for us, for each and every one of us. A unique path that he has already decided. We just got to know. So we wait on him all day long. Wait in his presence to find out what it is. Exercise fear of God and be humble. Then we will have God's friendship, God's company, and God's presence and his ways and his instructions we will be hearing and learning because he teaches those who fear him and those who are humble he will instruct and teach his ways i hope that's helpful god bless